Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Story Mode. Today we're going to be facing Romeo's challenge to get something out of his house. Fred's weapon, now I remember. So yeah, let's get started. The cabin must be through that door. Pressure plates release waterfalls upstairs. It's so calculated, so precise. Judging by the multiple pressure plates, there's some complex engineering behind these walls. I wouldn't expect anything less from the guy who made an icy palace of despair. I think this was meant for the three friends, Romeo, Zara, and Fred. How do you guys feel about pulling some mystery levers and seeing what happens? Designed all this just for his friends? Are you ready for the most thrilling, death-defying, heart-pounding challenge you've ever experienced? Nope. Magma cubes magma and golem. lava golem. This time made of magma. Ooh! Wow! What a showdown, folks! Yeah. We're having the time of our lives, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so poking fire might not be the best idea. We've got to try something yeah. else. Yeah! Take that! Overgrown barbecue. There's waterfalls. Jesse, water turns lava into cobblestone. Yes, we've got to get them under it. All right, golems, time to get soaked. It's mining time. Radar, you have to break the machine. I'll cover you. On it! Yeah. 
total dummy. Doesn't want anything to do with the waterfalls now, does it? I broke my pickaxe anyway, so I guess it's time for another idea. We have gunpowder! TNT! Just gotta get some sand and we're set. Right, good thinking, Radar. Radar, get ready. Fire incoming! Just need four sand blocks, quickly. you over there I'm gonna go take a look around so strange to see flowers growing down here someone set up these lamps after the bedrock how's it looking doesn't seem to be anybody around. Nobody inside. Should be safe. Safe-ish. Let's just get that weapon and get out of here. It's like the one we used to have back at the treehouse. Tell someone you broke it. Uh-huh. Remember I used to read all the time? Now I barely do. Things change. Yeah. <sighs> Petra? What's wrong? Uh, n nothing. It just reminds me of... Uh, this, this story about puppies. Really sad story. You know me, I can't help crying about dumb stuff like that. Puppies, little chickens... Come on, Petra, you're lying. We both know it. No! Puppies just make me really sad, okay? <sighs> Fine. It's not the puppies. Doesn't this remind you of anything? Our friends? We used to hang out in that treehouse all the time. Now, we barely talk. Why does this keep happening? Everyone leaves, and I'm, I'm just by myself again. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I see them one by one, just... Not everyone leaves, Petra. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, but maybe that's the problem. What if I want to go somewhere that isn't Beacon Town? I'll just be alone again. Axel and Olivia are barely around. We already lost Jack. Didn't take long for the new Order of the Stone to fall apart, did it? My fault for thinking it would be different. Held together longer than most. Just because we have our own lives doesn't mean we aren't friends. We still care about each other. 
They'd be here if they cared. I, I know this isn't important right now. Let's just find the weapon and get out of here. Something's not right here. The beds don't go with the banners? Zara. Another one of Fred's journals. Dear Zara, if you're reading this, I'm already gone. I hid this in the one place I knew you would look for it. Fitting the key to ending all this would be here where it all started. This is the key to defeating Romeo. It says, hashtag potato451. Potato? That's the weapon? What are, what are we supposed to do with potato? That's not a weapon. It's a root vegetable, and not a very good one. I don't care how silly it sounds, as long as it works. Yeah, I guess. Just... Potato? Or, sorry, I meant hashtag potato 451. Take this word of passage and use it at the primary terminal. You can take away his power and end this. Word of passage, huh? I guess that's the potato. I still have hope for Romeo. He just wanted us to stay together more than anything. I know that's why he's doing this. Maybe I'm being foolish, but I need to know for sure before taking this step. Though I guess if you're here, I got my answer. Maybe someday we'll be together again. Your friend, always, Fred. I kind of feel bad for them. Don't you? Yeah, I feel kind of bad for them too. This wasn't easy for any of the admins. They really cared about each other. Everyone talks about Romeo like he was this controlling monster, but Fred wrote that Romeo just wanted to keep them together more than anything. Isn't that what I've been doing? Especially to you? I don't want you to feel forced to keep doing something you don't want to. I don't want to be that person. Or or make you feel scared to tell me the truth. You are nothing like the admin. Don't compare yourself to him. Even he didn't start out that way. It just got bad. I don't want to cross that line, too. I've been thinking a lot about what you said. Adventuring is what I'm good at. It's where I belong. Not in Beacon Town. But I don't want to... lose you. You mean a lot to me, Jesse. I... More than anyone else, you've been there. And I... I don't want to leave if it means... You're my best friend, Jesse. You have to do what's best for you, Petra. And no matter how far away that takes you... You'll always know where to find me. I'm gonna miss you. I always knew you were a big old softy. <laughs> You'll never be able to prove it. We'll see. We 
better get that book back to the portal. Right. Let's go stop the admin. His days of being Jesse are over. did it this is it then it's time to call the others we're getting out of here what do you think you're doing the portal is hidden for a reason to keep things away we're still missing Nurm. Right. That won't be a burden. Sounding pretty adminish there, Zara. The weapon is what we need, not bodies to throw at the problem. People just complicate things. Make everything messy. Inefficient. No one, no one gets left behind, ever. I mean, that's not exactly true. Yes, that furry one. The weird... Horse, you left her in the prison. But we we needed. Well, from now on, then. Might be your downfall, waiting on others. Better be careful about that. As you can see, the portal's fully functional. You complete your end. Yep, I think this should send us home. And there's Fred's weapon. Potato. Hmm. Weird, right? I, I thought it was weird. Fred trusted him. He went to Romeo with the best of intentions and was... was... Ugh. There is no redemption in Romeo. None. He needs to be stopped. Once and for all. He deserves it. Worse. For this and everything else. It's the only way. If it comes to that, maybe. Jesse, we can't just take him out. There is no maybe. Well, we probably but should. Heroes are supposed to help people. No, not, not hurt really. Them. Romeo deserves what's coming to him. I agree. Fred should be avenged. Fred was the best of us. Cut down. I can't let it stand. Romeo did awful things. We'll make sure he pays for them. Glad to hear it. I'm not. Romeo destroyed my world, and I wasn't there to help it. He's stolen it from me. There is no rebuilding. I have nothing now. It's really over. All the things we made. Here, I found this, and there are good things left if you look for them. That you would... I... I'm not used to being wrong. Thank you. But we still need to move forward. <sighs> All right. Let's get this over with. Hand over that trinket of yours. Uh, Jesse? Help! Don't let it eat! 
everything up, making a mess, and grabbing people! Ah! Eat this! <laughs> ha! Looks like all my training for the marsh hoppers of the Harline Swamps totally paid off. Jack! <laughs> Our little fall will get the better of the velvet tornado, please. For Fred's keep, for the future. Everyone, we are leaving! Oh boy, radar. We're winning, for now. But they're not gonna be able to hold that line for much longer. Especially not if that Enderman takes the portal apart. It's bad news. Ah! It's after me. For it, radar. I'll see you topside. Come and get some of this! Oh, yeah, that's right! I'm talking about these huge arms! He's past it, and he's giving us an opening. Everyone now, Ken, come on! You could ask more nicely. But where? Anywhere's got to be better than here. Oh, pain everywhere. Ugh. That's 
it. No more mystery portals ever. <laughs> what Nerm said. That was not a quality three point landing. Sorry, Nermy. <laughs> Is everyone all right? It's the Old Order's temple. We did it. We're back. <laughs> Radar would be flipping out if he were here right now. Standing where the great hero stood. This is amazing. Spot on impression. I mean, come on. You know he'd be all over historical Order of the Stone sites. He'll make it back to us. He'll just be a little... Late? Sure. Bet that'll bother him, too. <laughs> He's always on time. Jesse, we are endlessly grateful to your friend for what he did for us. Well, we'd thank him if we could. We didn't know if we'd ever see the sky again. Did you see that? Okay, somebody tell me I'm losing it. Is that... Beacon Town. Oh no. That is episode four. So let's see, did you accept the scavenger's deal? So, a little bit under the minority, okay. Did you win the trivia? Okay, so more people won. I, I would hope so. What did you say to Petra? So, the... Thought my adventures were over. Okay, so it's kind of like one-third, one-third, one-third. That is until a young hero came along with See, why wouldn't you give her the bed? It doesn't make any sense. Why wouldn't you? Uh, okay, so most people brought Fred's people to service. Okay. They said, Jack, do cool. you think you can give me a hand? The mine is traveling. Jesse, man, is it good to see you? Where are the others? Oh, no. Okay. Cool. All right, so I'm guessing that is episode four right there, guys. That is all done and wrapped up. Okay, guys, so next we will start episode five. But for now, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as a support to my channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.